Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another new video. Today I am here with a new makeup tutorial. Um, I really enjoyed this last one that I did, which was a 10 minute makeup tutorial and like sort of my everyday look. But this is another one of my everyday looks when I feel like trying a little bit harder and putting a little bit more effort in. And I really liked sort of the real time vibe that that other one had. So it's going to do the exact same thing where there will be a timer up in the corner and you guys can see how long it actually took me to do this look while I walk you through doing it. So like my go-to bronzy look and I thought since summer is coming up that a bronzy look would be perfect to share with you guys. I do want to remind you guys that I am actually not in LA right now because I am on vacation and I'm going to be traveling for the next two weeks straight and vlogging the entire thing. So make sure that you're subscribed to my vlog channel. I'm going to have a link in the description as well as you can access my vlog channel by clicking that little eye up there and there will be a link in there. And while you're in that little eye, you might as well vote for which video you would like to see next going to include two options in there and you can vote and then I can upload what you want to see. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I like to start off by going in with a moisturizer because I have fairly dry skin. So I like to use the number seven early defense day cream. They also have a night cream, which is really nice to use at night, as I'm sure you could have guessed. But I like this one before putting on my makeup because it has SPF 30 in it and it works really nicely as a base for everything that I put on top. Plus I feel like I'm getting some SPF protection. And then I am starting my base. You guys have seen me do this a bunch of times, but I'm just using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation mixed with the Kat Von D Tattoo Foundation. I mix that together with a damp beauty blender and then use that to apply it. And I've been using this for a couple months now and I really like it. It gives me pretty nice coverage. It's super buildable, so it does a really good job on the areas that I need a little bit of extra coverage. That way you don't have to worry too much with concealer or spend too much time working on my concealer. So as you can see, I'm just going back in with whatever is left on my hand, covering up any more imperfections that I may have, and then using any excess just to go down my neck to make sure everything is blended really nicely. All right, so I actually made a mistake here when I was going to do my makeup. For some reason, I forgot about concealer and I started doing my contour and then I was like, wait, I haven't done concealer yet. So as you can see, just took that off and then I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I just get a little bit of this on my finger off of the applicator because I find when you use the applicator, it goes on a little bit too thick and creases really easily. So I like just to use a little bit on my finger, apply that under my eyes and around my nose to help with any redness or blending. And then I will just apply a little bit on my cheeks and my chin to help with redness and also just to help with any sort of acne scarring that I have left over. And voila, base is done and looking good. So now we can actually go in with our contour. This is my Lancome Lay Duo Stick and I believe this is in the color buff. So I just apply that and then use a brush to blend that out. Um, and then of course, I also like to intensify that a little bit more. So I go in with a contour palette from It Cosmetics and just intensify that, set it with some powder. You guys know the drill. So since this is a bronzy look, I definitely wanted to go in with my hula bronzer. So I'm just applying that all over my general cheek area as well as my nose and forehead, just to make sure that my skin gets a nice sort of bronzy glow. Hula bronzer is the best for that. And then of course, still going in with my Tarte Am Amazonian Clay blush because that always adds a really nice rosy natural flush to my cheeks, which I'm super into. And then lastly, for my face, I just need some highlighter. Um, I got a little bit too much on my finger here. Um, this is like the enhancer drops and I'll have all the products listed down below in case you're wondering about specifics, but I just go ahead and apply that with my finger and then use my beauty blender to blend it out a little bit. And then of course on the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow as well, because I always think those look really nice when they're highlighted too. And that is it for my base. So now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I really don't do much here. I just go in with this little brush from Benefit and this is the Gimme Brow. It's like my usual, I literally just run it through my brows and that is the extent of what I do. <laughs> All right, time for the eye look. So this is like one of my go-tos. Basically, I'm just going in with my Kylie Bronze Palette and I'm starting with that middle orange color on a fluffy brush and just applying that in my crease so I can use that as a nice blending color. I just really think this works really well and really complements the bronzy look. Um, and also just makes it a little bit more bronzy, orangey, summery toned in my opinion. So still sticking with that same palette, we're grabbing those two top colors on a flat eyeshadow brush and applying that all over my lids just to give a nice base over top of my lids that way we can build on top of that. I lost my shoes last night, I don't know where I put my keys. 
All right, going in with a smaller brush now, I'm going to use some of these orangey, warm toned colors and use that across the outer half of my lid just to start a nice gradient and that's gonna work as a really nice blending color for the darker color. And I also like to run that just through my crease a little bit to make sure everything gets blended super nicely. And as you can see, I went in and intensified that a little bit more to make sure that it was super noticeable there was something else going on there. And then I go in with that darker brown shade on the bottom row and just go ahead and apply that to my outer corners for a little bit of extra depth and once again running that through my crease um, and then I just went in I touched up that first color that we put all over our lids and also went back in with that orange to make sure that you could still see that along the top of my crease and help that blend and be really natural and lastly for eyeshadow I just go in with this tiny little brush and those same last colors that we use the darker brown and I just apply that underneath my eyes since I don't like to use eyeliner and it helps to balance out the look that way it's not super heavy on top with absolutely nothing on the bottom because I think that looks sort of silly. And then to finish off the eyes, I am just going in with a nice mascara from It Cosmetic. I'm pretty sure that this is the superhero mascara. Not in love with it, but I don't have any other mascaras that I'm super into right now, so this is what I'm using for now. It works pretty well. It's nice and buildable with a couple of coats, so I really can't complain, but it's definitely not my favorite. If you guys have any mascara recommendations, leave them down below because I definitely need a new one. Mistakes from time to time, so no man call you. Baby, I beg you, yeah. All right, and of course the very last thing that I have to do is my lips, so I start off with this lip balm uh, because I like to use a matte lip when doing this look and of course those are super drying so I always like to put a moisturizing lip balm underneath. And then I am just going in with this Kylie Cosmetics lip kit and applying that to my lips. I think that this brownish color really complements the look perfectly and I love the way that it makes my face look like really put together and sort of glam, which I'm into. <laughs> And then my very last step is just to spray my face with some rose water to set it. And then we are done with this look. Here is the finished product. I really love this. I just think it's the perfect everyday bronzy look. This can totally go from day to night and is really good for the spring and summertime when you want that nice summer bronze. Yeah, and that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And please don't forget to vote for which video you would want to see next. And also, I want to remind you again to check out my vlog channel because travel vlogs are so much fun and I'm doing so many cool things on vacation. So I cannot wait to share it with you all. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.